Hello everybody. Uh, I've been waiting to make this video because they've been doing work on the roof and it's been extremely loud. <laughs> and they just finished, like the guy literally just shut the door and took down the ladder. So here I am. I just wanted to make the video for uh, the lane finds for this week. Um, I've just posted recently about the lanes being very bare because of the sweeps that are happening in the downtown east side. People are scavenging a lot more than they used to, and they're also sort of scavenging out far and wide. I've been talking to many people about what how they feel about this, and um, obviously what is happening in the world right now is a great indication of people feeling um, lost, scared, and uh, desperate. So if you're in a situation where all of a sudden you lose all of your items, you're gonna scavenge for more. So there has been, that much in the lanes. All that being said, if you do have a bag to donate, please take it and drop it off at a local shelter. Do not take it to Value Village. Um, there is just a brand new Value Village that has opened on Granville Street, sort of just across the street from the thrift store that's been there for years. Uh, it's great. Uh, Value Village uh, is a for-profit organization. They're not a not-for-profit organization and they do not donate directly to those in need. They make money and they pay people. They're a huge conglomerate. So if you do have anything to donate and you want to donate, take it to a local shelter. There's a ton of them here in Vancouver. Just give a quick Google and find one that might appeal to you. Uh, there's also been lots of helicopters going on <laughs> lately, so I'm sorry if you can hear that. Um, some examples are Wish, uh, there's the Downtown Eastside Food Bank. The food bank does accept clothing because people that will go to get food will also go to that same resource to get clothing. Um, there's the Salvation Army. The Salvation Army does have a direct donation. They don't, when they accept things, you can specify whether or not you want it to be a direct donation or a donation for reselling. Um, I volunteer with a downtown east side French organization called La Boussole. They also collect for their members. We do a food bank distribution once a week down there on Wednesdays in the downtown east side. And they have just recently opened a thrift store to raise money so that they can continue to buy products that their, um, the people who use their organization can actually still use. We did a big sort uh, a week and a half ago of toiletry items that were immediately distributed to the people that are living outside on the streets. Um, when I use the word sweeps, the current mayor has organized a walking police force down in the downtown east side for the people that live on the street. If they leave their, um, what they consider their home unattended for any amount of time, it's getting swept up, it's getting thrown away. So when they come back, their stuff might all be gone and they have to go and find everything brand new and start all over again. So keep this in mind and um, I will stop ranting now, but if you do have anything to donate, we're heading into colder seasons and this is usually when they do a coat drive. Boots, anything that's slightly used, just make sure it's clean and just drop it off. They're grateful for anything right now. Things are in a very chaotic state and whatever you can give would be really appreciated. Everything that I'm gonna show you today for my lane finds, I'm donating. Going forward, most likely will be, will be donating. Um, not really finding much of a need to keep things knowing what's happening and continue to happen in the downtown east side. I just did a huge purge and there's a lady here. Uh, her name is Gloria. She's volunteers for the downtown, or pardon me, she volunteers for the West End Seniors uh, Association and she will come by and pick up donations directly from me if it's something too big that I can't carry. So I keep in touch with her quite regularly. So here we go. I just recently found, it was raining, it's been raining a lot. And when I find um, things that have been put out next to the dumpster in the rain in a bag, I will often just bring them in and um, try to keep them dry and just redonate. This is a bunch of men's stuff. It's all clean. It's a nice uh, Tommy Hilfinger sweater. Uh, another nice sweater. This is uh, a golf sweater. This one's a little bit dirty, but uh, 
it's not that I'm a liberal or can't fix. I found this to be kind of funny. This is from Livia and Rose, be your own breast friend. <laughs> funny, funny, funny. Um, some Zara khakis. They're laundered. Everything is, this whole batch is really nice and fresh. Um, shorts, I guess lots of shorts lately. People are putting out lots of shorts. Uh, another t-shirt. <laughs> Whoever this was had a sense of humor. Some corduroys. Do you guys remember corduroys? Yep. Um, dress shirts. Even if you don't need one, sometimes it's nice to have the feeling of a collared shirt. I can imagine a nice crisp collared shirt would feel really nice if you don't really have anything else. It might be a nice vibe, nice, nice feeling. Uh, this is a nice blazer, just Calvin Klein basic gray blazer. Everything is wrinkly because it was kind of, um, it was just starting to get wet. We've had quite a bit of rain lately. Today the sun is coming out, which is really nice. And I guess the roof is dry enough this morning for them to repair, so that's why they've been here all day. And this white shirt had some cufflinks. Um, I took them out. I was playing with them last night. I'm kind of fascinated with them. But yeah, that's it for now. Um, if you have something to donate, just drop it at a shelter. I hope you guys are doing okay. I know the world is on fire, but the best we can do is just try to be kind to each other and help each other. If we see somebody, there's still a lot of tourists in town because we're still getting, a, we're gonna get cruise ships until November apparently. There's still deals happening. You see somebody lost looking at a map on a street, maybe just offer them some help. I helped a couple the other day find Waterfront Center, or pardon me, Waterfront Station. So yeah, that's, I feel like the best we can do. I don't have any other things to say about what's happening right now. If you need to talk, if you want a friend, if you want somebody who can listen, reach out, I'm here for you, um, but you won't find any political information in my feed. You just find these videos and you'll find me trying to reach out to those around me who just maybe need a little bit of extra kindness and maybe an extra shirt because they lost their other one. Thanks. Hello everybody, it's Monday and I have a lane find. Ta -da! I have a couple more things, uh, but they're in the laundry. This is an entire bag of black. Not quite sure why, but somebody gave away all of their black. Um, definitely donating most of this. I think it's also pretty large. Uh, it's an extremely windy day and the washing machines and dryers are broke in my building so I'm doing it at the laundromat and it has me kind of out of breath. I'm making a donation to the senior center this week. Wednesday they're open again. Um, some nice sockies. I don't really have a lot to say about this. Um, I think I still have that head cold that I had on the weekend. This is a lot of the same. It feels like a uniform. Oh, more sockies. To loonies. There's no tag. Oh, they're Joe Fresh. Breaking somebody at works. And a restaurant will really dig this batch. Some of these are. Yeah, they're all Joe Fresh. Some of them are pretty big. Some of them are maybe a small medium. Fall is definitely here. The wind is really high today. Oh, the skirt. It's cute. 
Yeah, strange that it's all black, right? Everything in here is black. And most of it is pants. A H and regular fit, double extra large. I'm gonna keep that guy. Do something fun with him. <laughs> Mostly black elasticized waist pants. Oh, another H and M. This is really nice for a dude. Double extra large golf shirt. with some bejewels <laughs> and another sweater with some bejewels so yeah that's it breezy Monday crazy hair feeling exhausted and congested and I found a bag of all black stuff there you have it I hope you guys don't blow away today Hello everybody. It is Wednesday, I think. I'm going to take off my slides for this. Um, I'm going to share the lane finds. I'm going to sit down. <laughs> I just found another bag on the way home. Um, I think this is just a bunch of men's shirts. So a friend of mine is coming to pick up on Saturday, uh, Saturday morning, because I have quite a bit more and the shelters are really looking for... Um, Donations. It's been very cold and the sweeps have been happening. So when I say sweeps, uh, our mayor believes in keeping the homeless from living on the street. So the people who are living on their street, if they leave, um, he's actually going by, not him personally, but he has a team going by. There's a garbage truck. It's one of those mid-sized garbage trucks and the guys are hanging off the side. They're stopping, gathering everything up, putting it into the garbage truck and compressing it. So whoever was quote unquote living in that facility, tent, whatever it is on the side of the road, comes back and finds nothing. And uh, then they have to scrounge and find everything again. So they're finding um, a desperate need for clothing. Um, I know the world has gone to shit and I know you might have strong opinions about giving things to the downtown east side. But imagine if you came home and all your shit was just taken away, just kind of for no reason. That's how I feel about it. So I've been doing my best to scavenge myself and donate. So take it to any shelter, any of the shelter in the downtown east side. Do not take it to Value Village. I want to stress that. Do not take it to Value Village. Take it to directly to a shelter. Give a quick Google shelters in downtown east side. You'll find one that'll fit however you want and then take it down there. Let's get on to the finds. So I seem to be finding a lot of men's stuff lately. That's kind of ironic. Uh, this is um, Brooks Brothers. Ooh, how bougie is that? They have this little logo of like a hanging pig. It's funny. Banana Republic. These are some nice men's shirts. So this will be very useful, very useful. Tommy Helfinger. I don't know why, I'm, I always look at the labels. I don't know why. In high school, I started to collect and read fashion magazines and mail order catalogs. It was mail order then, because it was before the internet. And I just became aware of brands. Uh, on to the finds. This is just an individual find. I might, oh no, actually I don't need to wash that. So I'm just gonna. So I think somehow subconsciously I trained myself to look for um, labels. These are things that I've already washed and I'm keeping. This is a really nice soft um, gray sweater. Really nice. 
this is a black watch plaid uh, flannel from Tilly. I didn't know that Tilly, um, Tilly hats made flannels, but they do. So there's that. Um, on to another bag. Oh, I found some of these are individual items. Those two were in those last three things were individual items. These are individual, um, really nice denim size 36, not a flaw, or maybe a little bit of rip, rip around the cuff, but clean and ready to wear. Uh, I'm going to get to a bag of clothing that I found now. So this is, um, it's a Wilfred jumpsuit. So the top kind of has ties. And the bottom's like really baggy pants. I'm gonna try it on because it's actually really, it would be really nice for like work because I wear black when I shoot. Um, flannel PJ pants. Again, wash. I'm gonna give these down to any side. Um, these are kind of worn out um, pants, but I feel like I'm going to donate them anyway. Just, I mean, if the people don't want to give them, they can, um, they can throw them out, but I feel like they'll take anything right now. It's a very worn out belt. I'm trying it on. Um, this is a Babaton wrap dress. So this is Aritzia, it's extra small. I noticed that there's deodorant in the armpit and I'm gonna give you a tip. If you have a white nylon, white pantyhose and you rub it on there, it removes it. So it's not gone through to the other side. So I'm gonna also try that on and remove the uh, deodorant. This is a cute little, it's a jumpsuit. Um, I just want to see if the zipper works. Yep. Uh, again, there's a little bit of deodorant, but yeah, you just rub it with a white nylon, gone. Uh, this is a Sunday vest top. I'm not sure how it works. <laughs> Sometimes this happens. Oh, actually, I think it's a skirt. It's a tiny, tiny person's skirt. <laughs> I thought it was a top. <laughs> skirt. Um, I might keep it for a shoot. Uh, this is really cute. Uh, pretty little thing. Dress. Yeah, again, might keep that for a shoot. Uh, and if some of these clothes don't fit me, I'm definitely just going to shoot in them. This is a really cute um, set for somebody really small. But also, I can do a lifestyle shoot with this. That's super cute. And also, this is another. And it says right on it, set. This is from a designer um, in L.A. Called, it's called Set Active. And that's it for now. Uh, the sun is out today. It's been incredibly rainy. Um, nicer weather today. Walked a lot, volunteered, had dinner with a bunch of, or lunch with a bunch of photographers. Um, yeah, I'm going to head back outside again. I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Hey, everybody. It's Thursday. I just got home. Uh, I had an appointment downtown, and I got back, and I have a lane find for you. This is the bag that I found it in. <laughs> it's kind of a few obscure items, but I just thought I'd share. Really large pair of Wrangler shorts. Not necessarily something we need this time of year, but I'm going to put it in the donation bag just in case somebody could use them. Uh, this is kind of cool. It's really big. It's a sweater. It's got a zipper and a hood. It's from Guess. It's nice. It'll keep somebody nice and warm. Put that in the donation bin. It's only a few things. Uh, cargo pants. These will definitely make somebody happy. They're from uh, Denver Hayes, so they're kind of like work pants. And I saved the best for last. 
you know my obsession with denim. I get really excited when I find it. These are Levi's. Uh, I'm not sure which uh, Levi's they are. I always check the crotch. I know that's gross, but authentic. Authentic Levi's always have a stamp inside the pocket. Um, yeah. That's it. Sorry, I was just reading the tag there for a second. <laughs> These are my favorites, and I'm definitely keeping those. The rest will go to the donation my friend's gonna pick up on Saturday. She works in the downtown east side, so I'm happy to donate to her because she can take it directly to them. I'm wearing, everything that I'm wearing is actually fine. These are the G-Star Raws that I got for five bucks last week. I found this belt, this sweater, this tank, Levi's tank, but yeah. It's a beautiful sunny day out there, and it's just after, I guess, 12.30. I already got my 10,000 steps in. Uh, I have a Halloween party tonight at the studio, and uh, a thrift shop party at the food bank that I volunteer for. So that's Thursday for me. Tomorrow is a shoot, and Saturday is Parade of Lost Souls on Commercial Drive. Hope you guys are doing well out there. Um, the heat is on in my apartment and uh, it's pretty cold outside. I wore a scarf today with a fall jacket, which I haven't done in a very long time. But yeah, that's me. Would love to hear what you're up to and uh, hope you're okay out there. I know things are crazy, but we just got to kind of keep going and be kind to each other. Bye. Hi guys, it's Friday and uh, I just got home, I've been shooting all day. So I just wanted to show you my kit. It's all thrifted. This is the coat that I found. This is the blazer that I found. These are the pants that I found. This is the shirt that I found. I got lots of compliments on my outfit today. So I wanted to show you my lane finds from last two days. The lanes seem to be picking up again. And my friend is coming tomorrow morning to pick up all the stuff that I have to donate. So I'm glad that I have a whole bunch. Um, these Timberland boots, I just found them. They are a size seven and a half um, a men's, I believe. I'm gonna try them on, see if they fit. They're really, I mean, they're kind of worn out a little bit, but they're good boots. Um, Pair of Levi's, you know how I love my Levi's. These are all black. Crotch looks good. Button play, 501s, 3030s. I also check the pockets because sometimes you find a little bit of cash. <laughs> I'm gonna see if those fit. Um, I also found some shampoo and more shampoo. And then some conditioner. This is sulfate free um, Garnier whole blends curl care shampoo and then five in one curl care conditioner. So I'm gonna use those. Uh, this one is for um, this is aloe and tea tree. So if you have a itchy scalp, so that's that. But last night I found these, uh, they're larger Levi's, they're about a size 36. Um, and I found this sweater. It's got a little bit of paint on it, but I think it'll be a nice warm sweater for somebody downtown east side. I also found this sweater and I noticed that it's a little bit chewed up, but nothing that a little bit of darning can't fix. It's really nice. It does have a zipper, which I'm not a huge fan of sweaters with zippers, but it's pure wool, it's vintage, and uh, yeah, I might give it a go. And where's it from? Tip Top Caldwell, extra large, made in Canada. So yeah, that's it for now. Big donation for the weekend for my friend to pick up tomorrow morning. And I hope you guys all have a great weekend. I know I'm going to enjoy the sunshine. Take care, guys. We'll talk to you soon.